Have you ever considered how our life could have turned if today those mighty prehistoric felines existed alongside us? As we get frightened just by hearing the stories of their monstrosity and how they have dictated the living chain once, but have they vanquished from the earth entirely? Hold tight as in today's video we are going to show you the proof of these prehistoric felines' existence. Number 4. American Lions Spotted Alive The American Lion or Panthera atrox, also known as the North American Lion, is an extinct pantherine cat that once existed in North America during the Pleistocene and the early Holocene period, about 34 million years ago. Their fossils have been excavated from Alaska to Mexico. The genetic analysis has shown that the American lion and the late Pleistocene Eurasian cave lion are sister lineages. It was roughly 25% larger than the modern lion, making it one of the largest. The American lion is estimated to have measured around 1.6 to 2.5 meters from the tip of the nose to the base of the tail, and stood 1.2 meters at the shoulder. Thus, it was smaller than its contemporary competitor, the giant short-faced bear, which was the largest carnivoran of North America at the time, and larger than the saber-toothed cat, Smilodon fatalis, which may have weighed up to 280 kilograms. In 2008, the American lion was estimated to weigh up to 420 kilograms. A study in 2009 showed an average weight of 256 kilograms for males and 351 kilograms for the largest specimen analyzed. Another study in 2012 estimated a range of 235 to 523 kilograms for males and 175 to 365 kilograms for females, which suggests that the lion was heavier than Smilodon. The American lion inhabited the savannas and grasslands like the modern lion. In some areas of their range, American lions lived under cold climatic conditions. They probably used caves for shelter from the cold weather in those areas and might have lined their dens with grass or leaves, as the modern Siberian tiger does too. Panthera atrox was one of the largest true cats of all time. It apparently prevailed in open habitats and presumably could tackle even prey as large as a bison. Although present-day jaguars prefer forest environments, the largest individuals are usually found in less forested habitats although scientists had confirmed the news of the extinction of these prehistoric lions. In Tongass National Forest, Alaska, the largest national forest in the nation, gigantic lions have been spotted by the locals. The locals describe it as an enormous lion, unlike the regular ones. The viewers believe it to resemble the ancient American lion Panthera atrox. Besides, large footprints were found in the deep forest that doesn't match any of the known living animals. The footprint is just too large. So there might be a tiny chance that somewhere in the deep dark side of the forest, these lions are still existing. During the summer 1917, many witnessed two cats resembling African lions, but surprisingly they were more gigantic and ferocious than the African lions. Another event of spotting so-called African lions happened in July 1917. A farm man named James Rutherford clearly saw a large yellow long-haired beast. Things got more serious when Thomas Gullett, a local butler, got attacked by a gigantic lion. In all these incidents, victims described a lion that doesn't match the regular lion. By their perception, it appears to be more like the ancient American lion. Number 3. Saber-toothed Tiger is Still Out There Smilodon is one of the most famous prehistoric mammals and best known as a saber-toothed cat. It was not closely related to the tiger or other modern cats. Smilodon lived in the Americas during the Pleistocene Epoch. The genus was named in 1842 based on fossils from Brazil. The generic name means scalpel or two-edged knife combined with tooth. Overall, Smilodon obtained particularly well-developed forelimbs and exceptionally long upper canine teeth. Its jaw had a bigger gap than that of modern cats, and its upper canines were slender and fragile, being adapted for precision killing. In North America, Smilodon hunted large herbivores such as bison and camels, and it remained successful even when encountering new prey species in South America. Smilodon is thought to have killed its prey by holding it still with its forelimbs and biting it, but it is unclear in what manner the bite itself was delivered. Scientists debate whether Smilodon had a social or a solitary lifestyle, Analysis of modern predator behavior as well as of Smilodon's fossil remains could be construed to lend support to either view. It probably lived in closed habitats such as forest and bush, which would have provided cover for ambushing prey. 
Smilodon died out at the same time that most North and South American megafauna disappeared about 10,000 years ago. But in the past, striped cats with long fangs, slightly smaller than jaguars, are reported from the montane forest of Ecuador and Colombia, and are speculated to be a smaller, more specialized form of Smilodon. One was supposedly shot and examined in Paraguay in 1975. Another group of possible specialized saber-toothed cats is the short-tailed, long-fanged water tigers reported from Brazil, Ecuador, Guyana, and French Guyana, which are described as highly dangerous, river-dwelling, long-fanged predators. A saber-toothed cat was also allegedly seen in Mexico in 1994. All these encounters raise a suspicion of the existence of the long-gone saber-toothed tiger. Number 2. Prehistoric Dinophilus Sighted in Tanzania Don't we all find cats adorable? But not in this case. Although the prehistoric Dinophilus happened to be a variety of cat, yet its enormous size and violent essence made it on your list. Dinophilus is a genus of extinct saber-toothed cats belonging to the tribe Matelurini. They were widespread in Europe, Asia, Africa, and North America at least 5 million to about 1.2 million years ago. Fossils very similar to Dinophilus from Lothagum range back to the late Miocene, some 8 million years ago. In size, they were between a modern leopard and a lion, with most about the size of a jaguar, about 70 centimeters tall, and up to 120 kilograms. They were medium-sized but powerful cats with a pair of prominent saber teeth. The front limbs were particularly robust compared to modern cats, even the jaguar. Two specimens were examined by Sergei Legendre and Claudia Roth for body mass. The first specimen was estimated to weigh 31.4 kilograms, the second 87.8 kilograms. The canine teeth of Dinophilus are longer and more flattened than those of modern cats, but less than those of true saber tooth. While the lower canines are robust, the cheek teeth are not nearly as robust as those of the lions and other modern big cats. Based on the Dinophilus likely preference of forest habitats, ethologist William Allen et al. believes it possessed a spotted or striped coat. Their stout body may indicate a preference for dense or mixed habitats, although, like the modern jaguar, it may have ranged from forest to open country, including wetlands. Analysis of carbon isotope ratios in specimens from Swartkrens indicates that Dinophilus preferentially hunted grazing animals. The main predators of hominids in the environment at that time were most likely leopards and fellow Macarodont megatherion, whose carbon isotope ratios showed more indication of preying on hominids. Dinophilus fossils and bones have been found in South Africa near those of the baboons that it possibly had killed. Bones from several specimens of Dinophilus and baboons were found in a natural trap where Dinophilus may have been lured to feed on trapped prey. Several sites from South Africa seem to show Dinophilus may have hunted and killed Australopithecus africanus since the finds mingle fossilized remains of Dinophilus, hominids, and other large contemporary animals. In South Africa, Dinophilus remains have been found near Paranthropus fossil skulls, a few with precisely spaced canine holes in their crania, so it is possible Dinophilus preyed on robust hominids as well. This may be rare, however, as carbon isotope ratios contradict this. It is thought that the gradual disappearance of its forest environment may have contributed to Dinophilus' extinction at the start of the Ice Age. There are indications of other related species. A mysterious creature sighted in Tanzania. It was described as a gigantic gray feline the size of a donkey. Evidence of this creature first arose in the early 1900s. In 1938, famous British scientific journal Discovery, William Hitchens, a British administrator working in Tanzania, reported that several natives stated that they were attacked by this beast. He thought it to be a giant man-eating lion, but both fur samples and tracks were ranging from those of a lion. In Frank W. Lane's 1954 issue of Nature Parade, Patrick Bowen, a hunter who tracked the creature at one time, remarked that the animal's tracks were like those of the leopard, even much larger. The beast was also described to have brindle fur that was visibly different from that of a leopard. Another theory, one of the most recent, proposes that the mysterious creature may be an evolution of the branch of prehistoric cats known as Dinophilus. These repeated sightings only indicate that the furious Dinophilus might be hiding somewhere in the woods. Thus, we can say that Dinophilus still exists.
Number 1. Finally, the cave lion seen by Tibetan. We all know lions are recognized as the king of the jungle, but these cave lions were a nightmare in the prehistoric era. As far as we know, they used to rule over animals. Panthera spelae, also known as the Eurasian cave lion, European cave lion, or steppe lion, is an extinct panthera species that evolved in Europe probably after the third Cromerian interglacial Cromerian stage less than 600,000 years ago. Phylogenetic analysis of fossil bone samples revealed that it was highly distinct and genetically isolated from the modern lion occurring in Africa and Asia. Analysis of morphological differences and mitochondrial data support the taxonomic recognition of Panthera spelea as a distinct species that diverged from the lion about 1.9 million years ago. Nuclear genomic evidence suggests a more recent split approximately 500,000 years ago, with no subsequent interbreeding with the ancestors of the modern lion. The oldest known bone fragments were excavated in Yakutia and radiocarbon dated at least 62,400 years old. It became extinct about 13,000 years ago. P. Spalia is known from Paleolithic cave paintings, ivory carvings, and clay figurines. These archaeological artifacts indicate that it may have been featured in Paleolithic religious rituals. A drawing in France estimated to be 30,000 years old represents two cave lions walking together the one in the foreground and the slightly smaller one in the background, which has been drawn with a scrotum and without a fringe. In 2015, two frozen cave lion cubs, estimated to be between 25,000 and 55,000 years old, were discovered close to the Uandina River in Yakutia, Siberia in permafrost. Analysis outcomes indicate that the cubs were barely a week old at the time of their deaths as their milk teeth had not fully grown. Drennan suggests that Tibetan snow lions and Chinese guardian lions represent living or late surviving cave lions. It has been suggested that the buffalo lions of Savo, including the famous man-eaters, may be living cave lions on account of their lack of manes and preference for larger prey. Coleman suggests that the lion which attacked the Xerxes army in Macedonia and lions mentioned as living in Scotland in early medieval times were cave lions so it is quite clear that the cave lions might not be extinct so far. Although these prehistoric creatures were furious and gigantic, but we had a quite valid understanding of them, but things got even more frightening when a few unknown beasts found inhabiting on our planet. Click here to see their vitality and monstrosity.